Hey what's up guys, Jude here and today I want to speak with you a little bit about the ESRB, how they're handling the whole loot box situation, how they're addressing it. So the ESRB, the Entertainment Software Rating Board, announced yesterday that it is introducing labeling to video game boxes that will signify whether a game offers the ability to spend money on additional content. The move comes amid an ongoing controversy around loot boxes and similar virtual items which built to a pressure point last fall with outrage around games such as Middle Earth Shadow of War, Call of Duty World War II, and Star Wars Battlefront II. Notably, the ESRB's proposed labeling system does not specifically call out randomized purchases such as loot crates, it only points out the ability to buy downloadable content. So if you guys may not have understood what exactly that meant, essentially what it means is the ESRB are not actually letting you know that or not you or parents know children whoever's buying the games know that the game is has loot boxes in it and what they're doing right now is simply saying they're putting a sticker on the game and saying hey there's dlc in the game that's that's literally what it means i mean dragon ball fighters can be dlc you know downloading the the characters as they come out or the anime music pack or whatever it is that they're offering a lot of games have dlc they have story dlc they have this dlc yada 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 the ESRB is not focusing on the things that people made a discussion about, which are loot boxes. If you guys are unfamiliar with what loot boxes are, I know a lot of you guys are playing Dragon Ball Fighters, so Dragon Ball Fighters has loot boxes. When you go to that little shop and you use your in-game currency to it's it's essentially gambling. You spend well, it's like what is it like a thousand a thousand zenny or whatever whatever the cost is a thousand zenny at the shop and it randomizes an item that you get that is essentially what a loot box is now the issue comes from not the fact that loot boxes are in the game using in-game currency that's it's whatever the issue comes in when the game is catered towards forcing you to buy rather than play so to give you an example, once again, I'm going to go back to Dragon Ball Fighters because I know a lot of you guys are, are playing Dragon Ball Fighters. What happens is, let's say when you go to that shop, or you know, I'll give you a better example. Let's say all the characters in the game had to be unlocked using the in-game currency, the Zenny. And each of those characters was priced at 200,000 Zenny. Now, imagine how long it would take for you to unlock each character if... They were priced at 200,000 zenny. Now watch this. Let's take it a step further. What if for just the price of $5 each character, you can unlock them sooner rather than actually play the game and, and, and build up 200,000 zenny, which I highly doubt anybody is ever going to do, especially for what, what I think it's like 24 characters in the game right now. 24 characters in the game, 200,000 zenny, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of effort that a lot of us just don't have. That is essentially the way that the... The gaming industry is using loot boxes to discourage you from playing the game. And, and not only that, but they build the game around these predatory practices where they make it so you look at it like, man, this is a really deep and heavy task. Like, it's not something that's going to take me, you know, like a normal game. Oh, I just have to complete a couple of tasks and then I could buy them. No, it's going to take you a, a, an overextensive amount of time to be able to purchase something that a lot of people just don't have the time to, so they're gonna point you in the direction of, hey, you spend five dollars, you get that character right now. That is essentially a small example. A small example. Don't make that the end all, be all example. That is a small example of what loot boxes are in games. By the way, you know I'm not even gonna go any further than that. I just wanted to give you an example of what exactly it is that people are having a discussion about. These predatory practices of making games where it encourages to it encourages to buy. Uh, buy into the system rather than play the game that you paid a full $60 price tag for. That is essentially what is happening. That is discussion that, that has been going on. And it's one of the things that I feel needs to be addressed a lot more than just a sticker on the box saying, hey, you can buy DLC in this game because that is such a broad and general uh, general statement. You know, DLC, literally buying a character is would, would be under that same, that same vein. So I think we need to, maybe this is the first steps into what they're, they're planning to do maybe they have something down the road where they're going to try and focus on how can we exactly pinpoint these types of practices are they going to increase the age the age range from not you uh t t or m it's going to be adult you know you have to be an adult it's such it, it is gambling but they're, they're not labeling it as gambling
Either way, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for rocking with me. If you found this video helpful and informative, go ahead and leave a like so that other people who are looking to find this type of information or who wanted to join in on this discussion can find the channel. Obviously, it helps the channel grow. And comment down below what you guys think about loot boxes or rather the loot box practices of these major corporations. And if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest gaming news and updates, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go ahead and click the notification bell so that whenever I do upload, you guys are immediately notified. And if you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter and my Twitch are in the description box below. So this is where you can speak with me directly and link me to sources on things that you want me to speak about. Or Twitch is where you can find me playing games, hanging out with everybody, and maybe even get a game in with you myself. That's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for rock with me. And until next time, Space Cowboys.